So back to our HS game time coverage where we also look, look at the academics of the schools that uh, we're reporting from. We're going to head back out to Christian Academy for HS game time. Heather Fontaine tonight is telling us more about the director of the School of Arts program. Heather. Yeah, there tonight, Doug, we are taking you off of the football field and into Christian Academy's auditorium for a closer look at their School of the Arts program and how one man is teaching these kids to gain confidence. With each beat, there's even bigger energy. It's supposed to be loud and overdramatic. And though COVID-19 is keeping Christian Academy's band from having a concert this year, Students are still making sure this music gets heard. This time we were recording and it's sad that we were recording, but it it's definitely beneficial. For instance, like if we mess up, we can do it again. Marissa Franklin is a junior at Cal and a wizard on the xylophone. I come to band class and I practice my heart out. A lot of her enthusiasm encouraged by teachers like Mr. Wooten. Just to have someone at school be an anchor in all the craziness, like even today I ate lunch in the band room. For 18 years, Matt Wooten has directed Cal's School of the Arts. Here he is conducting the school band last fall. It's a reason I get out of the bed in the morning. Um, working with students who who want to be better. A musician himself, and one who never stops admiring the talent of teachers and students who surround him. I don't feel like I go to work. I feel like I get to go and do, uh, I get to have fun every day. We get to play music together. He also leads a class on music history, though if you ask Marissa, his lessons go beyond the notes on a page. Mr. Ruin has helped me grow spiritually more than anything else that they see my heart, they see my passion. Um, it's fulfilling. As another percussion practice wraps up, Wooten loves knowing these kids at Cal can always count on him. It makes my world go around. Matt Wooten tells me that he has built connections that have lasted over a decade. In some cases, he's even officiated some of his former students' weddings.